Sup guys, Blue Dragon here from NorCal Nerf. And today we have the second Nerf Science with me, Blue Dragon. And today we're going to be explaining a direct plunger system. In the last video, we explained what a reverse plunger system is with the Maverick. We're going to be using the hammer shot for a direct plunger system just because it's the simplest. So, first thing every direct plunger system has is some kind of pullback rod. And the hammer shot is the hammer. So if you can kind of see here, I pull the hammer back, inside this clear plastic tube, you see that black O-ring that goes back with it. That is all the air coming back and then compressing. And when you pull the trigger, it lets the hammer go forward, which makes all that air go forward into the air shifter. Now, I personally took the air restrictor out of my hammer shot because it's an air restrictor. And so it does get a more direct airflow, but that's besides the point. Uh, anyway, another thing that most direct plunger systems have is an air restrictor built into the blaster. Now, the reason the hammer shot has this is because that way you only have to have a, one air restrictor getting beat up every single time you use it other than six brand new ones because if you find a maverick and it's broken it might have one broken air restrictor in the barrel and then the rest of the barrels are fine but this way if it's broken you can replace it quite easily most unique way of a direct plunger system most of the time it's going to be pulled back like this such as the fire strike or a ham or a uh, top prime such as a strong arm which is a little bit more complicated to work with but it is what most of the blasters are like now with the spring see the spring here is interesting compared to the other spring in the uh, reverse plunger system blaster let me see if I can get this out now this spring is special to the hammer shot so that's why and its size special to the hammer shot but it is so, so much harder to compress like I can and that went away. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I could fully compress the reverse plunger system spring, but not this one, which proves it's so much tougher, which is helpful to the whole thing of the blaster. Now, if you try to put a spring like this into a reverse plunger system blaster, you have to modify the plunger system for the reverse so that it doesn't damage it, because if it's too hard of a spring, it can break the plastic very easily. But this plastic was specifically made for the spring. Now about the barrel. The barrel is kind of interesting because the reverse plunger system barrel for the Maverick was like five times bigger than this. It only holds one more dart. So I feel like this is much easier because it's more compressed and smaller. And you can hold more darts in there. So that about sums it up for direct plunger system blasters. There's not much to say about them. They're much more simple, and they fire way better than reverse plunger system. So, if you're going to buy a blaster, I highly recommend Leap Blaster. Thanks for watching. This is Blue Dragon, signing